Good morning, everyone. Today we are back at Universal Studios Hollywood for our update on Halloween Horror Nights. We'll edit in some footage from Midsummer Scream with John Murdy. Also got to speak with him briefly after his presentation at Midsummer Scream. We'll show you a little bit of that. We'll see what's new as the Studio Tour 60th anniversary just ended. And we'll see what else is new around the park, including construction on the Fast and Furious coaster. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Universal Studios Hollywood. Have a great day and have fun, everyone. Now we're talking. In the Parisian courtyard, we have Monstros 2 with new characters and La Muerte is back. In Monstros 2, the nightmares of Latin America come face to face with El Charro, El Cadejo, and El Cucu. Here in what team members call Decision Hub, where which way do you go when you come in? It depends on what I'm doing for the day. This will be a scare zone called Murder of Crows. So the crows from last year will be back with a new character, Mama Crow. Here on French Street, we already see props going out for the scare zone Luchadores Monstruosos, based on the Luchador oh. movies from Mexico from the 70s. And Murdy was explaining during Midsummer Scream that they all look like Universal Monsters, but they're not really Universal Monsters. So all the posters here that they made for the event are kind of poking fun at that. That there's like a creature from the Black Lagoon, but it's not really a creature from Black Lagoon. It's kind of a Frankenstein, but not a Frankenstein. So really, really creative. former Walking Dead location. This will be a quiet place based on the popular movie. Uh, first house ever to have ASL, American Sign Language. If they hear you, they hunt you. Other scare zones coming this year are Skull Lords and Chainsaw Punks. Those will be in the entry plaza and as you enter the park, as usual. And back this year at Waterworld will be the Purge Dangerous Waters, a Purge themed Waterworld show. It was really fun last year. Let's take a look at the four houses here on the lower lot for HHN. The Mummy Queue will be Dead Exposure Dead Valley, an original concept. As we move backwards to the location of Holidays in Hell last year, we will see the tent right there, and that is a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Behind Jurassic Park there in the sound stage, which was once the home to The Voice, is Universal Monsters Eternal Bloodlines. That is an all-female monster. That's gonna be really awesome. Music again this year by Slash. And John Murdy told us at Midsummer Scream that there will be a full soundtrack available of all of Slash's music from Horror Nights. And at Stage 15, which is behind Transformers over there by Super Nintendo World, will be The Weekend is Back, Nightmare Trilogy. And we'll see a brief view of the soundstage from the tram. We won't see much else on that, but excited to see. And as we pan back over, we will see on the tram the facade to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This summer, Universal Studios Hollywood has been celebrating 60 years of the studio tour, the special step off the tram moment, special displays on the back lot, and glamour trams, but that officially ends August 11th, so from now on, you're gonna be back to the regular studio tour. And some people on the Facebook groups were a little confused. There is always a studio tour here at Universal Studios Hollywood. It is a permanent attraction. It was just some of those special elements that were part of that 60th. So if you're coming this week and later on, the studio tour is gonna be here. Aboard the tram now, we'll pass stage 15, which is home to the weekend. We also get to see the facade to Texas Chainsaw Massacre coming along nicely. We also saw construction on today's tour for the Terror Tram, and we'll see the trailer for that in just a minute. Also behind the Wizarding World of Harry Potter will be Insidious and Ghostbusters. Here's the trailer. 
They've come back to haunt you. Insidious, the further. <laughs> Face an icy new evil. Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire. Starway at Midsummer Scream, the Halloween and Horror Convention, a couple weekends ago, John Marty gave a full presentation, told us all about the concept with the artwork and the characters for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We have a full panel presentation on that on our channel. We'll put a link down in the description. And then after the presentation, I got to speak to John Marty briefly about the concept. So we'll edit in that brief interview right here. My family has always been in beat. <laughs> Family's I've, always been in me. I'm going to be saying it all. I'm going to be saying that to everybody tomorrow. Or yeah, tomorrow. that's where it all starts it, for it, this house. Yeah. Is there always that one line or that one thought? That Sometimes. Just makes us yeah, I I really did panic because I was like, oh, that's a great idea. We should use all of the different iterations of Leatherface. But I was like, but how do you, how do you do that and make it make sense? And then I remembered that line when I was looking at the film again, and I was like, oh, the slaughterhouse. They talk about it. You never go there in the original film. That's the place we should tell yeah. the story. And it just went from there. Yeah. Well, we look forward to the house, and uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Thank All you. Right, thank you. In 2024, it is the 50th anniversary of this historic franchise. How many of you guys love Texas Chainsaw Massacre? So the people that we've always dealt with over the years on Texas Chainsaw Massacre, they came to me, and they pitched me this idea. Oh. And I went, yes, let's do that. That's awesome. Let's do a multiverse approach. And then I panicked. Because I had no idea how to do that. So what did I do? I do what I always do. I went back to the film, even though I've seen it a million times, I started researching the film. And this particular line was the seed for everything I'm gonna show you right now. <laughs> There's a group of teenagers driving in a van. They're driving through Morton County, Texas. And they see this dude in the distance, waving and jumping up and down. And they decide, well, you should never do it in a horror movie. Don't ever do this in real life. They decided, oh, look at that crazy guy. Let's let him in our car. Let's give him a ride. And he says these lines, my family has always been in meat. What's he talking about? The slaughterhouse. He says, oh, there was, you know, I used to work at the slaughterhouse, and my brother did, and my grandpa. And I thought to myself, you never see that in the original film. They talk about the slaughterhouse, but you never see it. So what we decided to do was to create an alternate timeline. This is where it gets real heavy, okay, so follow me. We decided to create an alternate timeline that runs parallel to the events in the 1974 film, but that takes place entirely at this location you've never been to, the Slaughterhouse. We will put a link to Murdy's full presentation at Midsummer Scream down in the description at the end of this video. In the meantime, here is some of the merchandise that is for sale inside and outside of the park. You can find it inside the park and also at the Universal Studio store on CityWalk. We'll take a look now at that construction for the Fast and Furious coaster, Hollywood Drift. You see the construction area is massive for this. This is a huge undertaking. This used to be the location for the animal actors and the special effects stages. Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift is scheduled to open in 2026 and it is fun to watch the construction come along. They're doing a lot really quickly. It's fun to see all those coaster track beams go up. It's fun to watch the progress. The 60th anniversary props here in Universal Plaza are being removed to make way for Halloween Horror Nights. And if you're still interested in those 60th Anniversary Studio Tour popcorn buckets, they are now on sale for $19.64. Outside the park on City Walk, it looks like Chick Chick Chicken has closed, as well as Francesca's, to make way for a new Hello Kitty Cafe and Sanrio store. It is a hot one today, so we're going to do this wrap up here in the car. Thank you for watching till the end. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. We will be here opening night of Halloween Horror Nights and provide updates all the way up until opening day. Now for your chance to win one of these two button sets, they're the same. It's four buttons for HHN 2024. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit the like button on this video and then comment 
with which house you're most excited for at this year's Halloween Horror Nights here in Hollywood. For a second chance, comment on which scare zone you're most looking forward to. Make those comments before Saturday, August 17th, I believe. 17th or 19th. <laughs> I'll have to look at the calendar. I'll put it in the description and then pin it in the comments. But you have until this Saturday to make that comment. And then we'll pick uh, two names at random and notify you here on YouTube. So make sure you like the video, subscribe, comment, one comment, favorite house, or most house you're looking most forward to, and the scare zone you're most looking forward to. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.